Did you ever wonder how surgeons clean our hands before surgery? First thing you gotta do is remove any jewelry or watches. Next, we wanna do a mechanical scrub to get off all the debris on our hands. So to do that, we use a chlorhexidine brush and it's got a little nail cleaner that comes with it. You can use this sharp tip, just kinda go under your nails and get out all the dirt. The next thing you wanna do is get this brush a little bit wet. You wanna think about each finger as four sides and your hand is four sides and your arm is four sides. And you wanna make sure that you scrub each side. For example, on my thumb, I would scrub the back, the side, underneath, and the other side. And I would repeat that for all of my fingers. Then I do my whole hand in the same way. This side, side by my thumb, the back of my hand, and then finally the outside. And I would obviously do this for much longer for a real surgery. And then finally scrub the top, scrub the side, scrub the under surface, and scrub the other side. And you wanna do this all the way up until it goes above your elbow. Then you're gonna rinse off this. You don't want the dirty soap to be running down your hand to your fingertip. So you'll keep your hand up like this and you let the water run so that it carries all the dirt off of your hand and then goes into the sink. Then I actually dry my hands with a paper towel. And you might be thinking, what's the point of that? You just cleaned them. But actually that's not the final way that we clean the hands. This was just an initial scrub to get off the debris. Next, we use a surgical scrub. It's kind of like a hand sanitizer for surgery that really gets rid of all the colonization on your hand. Over here, it's just a dispenser. You put your hand out underneath. It gives you this clear liquid. This you get it under your fingernails first and you rub it into your hands. And then once you've done that, you, you do another one and you rub it up above your elbows. And then I like to come back and do one final one for my hands. And then once that's done, you keep your hands like this so that they don't get contaminated. You walk into the OR like this, and then you get gloved and gowned, sterile and ready to do surgery.